Morgan. I'm a plant-based registered dietitian, and that is the question of the day. So, yes you can is the quick answer. Um, but just so you know, there's a couple different ways to go about doing it, and I'm going to explain my, why you might want to use one versus the other. So, I actually had this in the freezer, which is why it's not <laughs> falling out, is because it's still frozen. Um, so this is actually cooked butternut squash that I roasted and I just couldn't eat in time and so I froze it. So what I really love using this for, it's already cooked, it's already seasoned with some salt and pepper and olive oil. When I eventually use this, which isn't going to be today, but eventually I'm going to unthaw it and blend it into a butternut squash soup is one option. Option two would be I really love doing um, vegan butternut squash ravioli and so that would be basically unthawed, mashed with some sage and some seasonings um, and then in a homemade noodle or stuffed then in a homemade noodle. So that's an option. Um, you could do it in like a soup or a stew or a chili but you're basically going to want to use the already cooked butternut squash and something that does have a lot of extra flavor and that does have a lot of extra liquid. It's not going to have the same texture that it did once it was um, cooked. So I roasted mine in the oven at like 425 for probably like 45 minutes once it was all cubed up. Maybe like half hour. These are kind of small cubes. I don't remember exactly what I did. But um, again, it's not going to have the exact same texture. So by blending it up or using it in like a super stew where it gets nice and soft anyway is going to be your best bet. So that's a good idea if you already have it cooked and ready to rock and roll. If you have a whole butternut squash, you cannot freeze that. So I'm talking like the whole big one that still has the skin on it. No bueno, do not freeze. You can though um, cut it up, you know, take the skin off, take the seeds out, and then you can do a couple different things. You can blanch it really fast for a couple minutes. So that would be blanching would be in a big pot of boiling water that's salted put it in there for one or two minutes and it's going to um, soften and then that way and then you can freeze it um, and then that way when you use it it's going to take a lot less time to cook and the texture is going to be better. Um, I would just say that if you take, if you use that method after you blanch it, it can be helpful to put it out on a cookie sheet um, and just kind of pat it down with a, a clean dish rag and dry it out because see you can see how mine sticks together. If you freeze it um, and everything is nice and dry, it'll crumble apart and then you don't, it'll be easy to use um, for if you want, like for example, if you just want like a little bit of this, if you pat it out on the cookie sheet first and then put it in a container, they're not going to stick together and it's way easier to use just a little bit um, versus this, I'm kind of stuck by using the whole thing. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you can blanch it once it's cubed and cut. You can also then put it in the microwave instead of blanching for a few minutes once it's, um, the skin is off and you've taken the seeds out and it's cubed or sliced, however you're preferring to store it and cook with it. Um, I prefer the blanching or the already cooked, I will say, versus raw or putting in the microwave for a little bit. So you can freeze it. Um, you just don't want to freeze the whole vegetable as is. I personally feel like it works best if it's already cooked and you just freeze the leftovers and then use it again for like a soup, a stew, a chili, um, or the filling of some butternut squash ravioli, which sounds amazing right about now. Uh, maybe that's what I'll make with mine. But I hope you found that helpful. Like it if so, and question below with anything that you're wondering about. Uh, be sure to subscribe and catch a new video every week. And until next time, keep it kind. I'm gonna pop this back in the freezer. Or should I make some butternut squash ravioli? That is a good question. <laughs> See you soon.